This video is brought to you by Wirestock. More about them later in the video. So let me show you how you can utilize Leonardo AI to create stunning images that you can monetize. This AI is constantly evolving and improving at an impressive rate. The best part? You get 150 tokens for free every day to generate your images, and all rights to the images belong to you. Unlike Midjourney, where you have to pay $10 a month to acquire the rights to the image. If you are someone who doesn't want to spend money to try this, then Leonardo AI is an excellent option for you. In this video, I will also show you how to generate images using the platform and its newest features. So, let's start. To gain access to Leonardo AI, you need to visit their website. In the top right corner, click on Launch App, then Yes, I'm whitelisted. You'll then need to log in to Leonardo AI using your Google account. To create your own image, click on AI Image Generation in the left panel. Here, you'll see a field where you can write your prompt. Just below that, you can choose a model. If you're unfamiliar with Stable Diffusion, a model is a dataset that has been trained on a specific type of image. For example, if you're looking for realistic images, you might go with Absolute Reality 1.6. If you're looking for an artistic style, you might go with Illustration 5.2 and so forth. If you're unsure what a model does, all you need to do is click on it. It will pop up and show you some examples that have been created with that particular model so you have a basic idea as to what kind of images you can expect. You can also click on Select Custom Model and check out the community models, which are created by the users themselves. Next, you can add a negative prompt, meaning what shouldn't be in your image. Further down, there are tabs for image generation and prompt generation. This tool allows you to come up with more complex prompt ideas from a simple prompt. For example, if you type in beach and click on ideate, it will come up with a number of more complex concepts which include a beach. Moving on to the main settings, on the left you can choose the number of images you'll get from one prompt. I think four is the best option, giving you plenty to choose from. Then you have prompt magic v2 and v3, which is currently in beta testing. In short, this feature ensures better prompt adherence. If you enable it, you can also adjust high contrast and prompt magic strength. The same thing is with the new feature Alchemy. When enabled, it increases the quality of the image, the contrast, and adds more detail. While this is a premium feature, you're allowed to test it out five times at no cost. Further down, we can see the image resolution settings. Here, you can fine-tune the size of your image, but to get the best results, Leonardo recommends choosing 1024 by 1024 pixels. Below that, we can find the guidance scale. In this tab, you can adjust how closely the image corresponds to the prompt. In other words, the lower the number we choose, the less the final image will resemble what's written in our prompt. I recommend choosing an optimal number of 7 or 8 for the best results. Below, you can see image to image, where you upload an image you'd like to use as a reference for your generation. Personally, I find Leonardo has a more straightforward and visually simple dashboard than many other stable diffusion-based image generation tools. We're now going to navigate back using the arrow button here, returning to our user tools. We were previously in AI image generation and now we'll move down to AI canvas. In AI canvas, you can take an image and expand upon it. We'll use the example that we just generated a moment ago and now we'll expand it to make it larger. The main feature here is that you'll have a box and a prompt below it. You'd want to position half of the box outside of the image, leaving the other half on the image, as you'd need a reference point for Leonardo to use. Below this, we'll give a detailed description of what we would want outside of this image. Essentially, we're expanding the image to see what it generates. On the right here, I've set the number of images to four. So, whenever a new image is generated, you'll be given four different options to choose from. Choose the ones that fit your vision the most and proceed with the other corners of the image. Now, let's discuss how you can monetize the images you're generating. We will be using Wirestock, our video's proud sponsor. It's an ingenious tool that allows you to upload your AI-generated images and distribute them across various stock photo platforms with a single click. Here's how it works. 
generate your image, upscale it using any free upscaling tool, I will use upscale.media. I will link all the tools in the description below for you to try. After you have upscaled the images, navigate to wirestock.io, click on Get Started, log in with your Google account. It will ask you if you want to upload your first image directly. Choose the image you want to upload, and remember to check the box indicating that the content is AI generated, and then post it as easy as that. Wirestock does all the work related to keywording, captions, and tagging to optimize your image for stock marketplaces. Creators get individual portfolios for free, where they can sell content directly, sell prints and create collections. When someone buys your image, you get 85% of the image cost, which is amazing. All this you can use for free. Also, Wirestock offers a paid subscription for a small price. You get 100 additional marketplace and challenge submissions per month, faster keywording and review for marketplaces, upscale images, 100% royalties and price control, and the ability to download files with metadata up to 500 gigabyte. And all this for just around $7 a month if you pay yearly or $13 if you pay monthly. Although the cost of this service is already low, I've managed to get you a further 20% discount. All you have to do is click on the link in the description and use the promotional code Prompt Jungle. Wirestock also provides a feature called Explore, where you can view the best-selling stock images. This can be a great source of inspiration when deciding what images to generate. Or you could even use those images as a reference in Leonardo's image-to-image -image feature. You can also click on Challenges, where you can submit your AI images to win money. There are always new challenges that are open for submission. For example, there are two active right now. You'll notice there's a multitude of opportunities within the creative AI genre. However, be sure to familiarize yourself with the rules and the specific theme of the challenge prior to submitting your work. Additionally, don't forget to enhance the resolution of your images before uploading to Wirestock, ensuring they meet the platform's quality standards. I will be uploading around 100 of the best-selling stock images using the Explore feature on Wirestock to get some inspiration. And I will also upload an update video in a month's time to show you the results and how much money I have made. I want to thank Wirestock for their support in making this video possible and for introducing an incredibly easy and passive way to generate income from the images we are already generating with Leonardo AI. Thank you so much for staying until the end. And as always, if you found this video helpful, leave a like and maybe subscribe 